In this section, we're going to go over how to post a job listing on LinkedIn. And LinkedIn is a very effective way of garnering resumes for an open position or a future open position your company may have. And the way to post a job listing on LinkedIn is to go to Jobs, select Post a Job, and you will see it states that it will cost $295 for a 30-day posting in the greater New York City area. The cost will depend on the location you want the posting advertised in. For example, in New York City you're going to expect to pay a higher price. $295 is the highest price you'll probably pay for a 30-day posting. But if you're posting an ad in, in a backwoods part of Alabama, your cost will be significantly lower. In Mississippi, you may be paying in certain more populated areas $195. In a backwoods area, maybe $95. So the cost depends on where you're going to have the ad localized. So do not be afraid of this $295 tag. You can also decrease the price of the listing by buying multiple listings. And you can see what the price would be if you click on compare prices. You'll see that for a 30-day listing, it's $295 for one listing. If you buy a job pack of five, it's only $230 per job. If you buy a job pack of 10, you will pay $170 per job. And for example, about the cost of localized ads in certain areas and the difference in charge, let's just put a postal code of an area in Alabama that's less populated than New York City. and you'll see it's significantly different. The cost is a third. For a 30-day posting, it's $95. For a 5-job posting, it's $75. For a 10-job posting, it's only $65 per job. So what we're going to do is we're going to select Continue to advertise this job in Birmingham, Alabama, and we're going to select Continue. And you'll now see the location is Birmingham, Alabama. And of course, we can change this. And we're going to want to list the job title. And as you type in the job title, LinkedIn will show suggestions. And if the job title appears, you can merely select one of them. If not, you can continue typing. You then enter the type of position it is, whether it is full-time, part-time, contract, temporary, or other. You would also enter the experience level required. Is it executive, director, mid-senior level, associate, entry level, internship, or not applicable? Then you would enter the industry, and you will be given a list of possible industries it may be in. If, if it is in multiple industries, you can simply select Add Another. Then you'd be asked for the function. And here you'll have a long list of possible functions. And if you do not see the function, you'd simply select Other. If it has multiple functions, you can simply select Add Another. Here you have the option. And you see you have an option to enter or not when it does not have a red asterisk. The red asterisk means it is a mandatory field for entry. If 
the budget requires a low payment, you may not want to put the low compensation here as it would hinder those more qualified from applying. Maybe you could use other benefits to coax them in to the job. So you do not want to ostracize those who are more qualified and who would not go for the low paying salary. If you have a competitive salary and great benefits, you may want to mention it here. If you offer a referral bonus, and that means someone forwards this job to somebody else and you hire that person, you will be giving them money for that referral. You would enter it here. If you do not have a referral bonus program, you would simply leave it blank. And you get to the meat and potatoes of the job listing, the job description. And after you enter the job description, you would enter the desired skills and experience required for this position. And once you enter the desired skills and experience required for this position, you would enter the company description. Now, if the company is in a field that maybe would be deemed not exciting, say making pencil erasers, you may not want to mention what the company does outright as it may scare away the younger crowd who you may be wanting to attract, who you could pay lower and be more on top of applications. So if you are working in a, an exciting field, by all means be as descriptive as possible of the company. That will attract people itself regardless of compensation. But if you're working in a less attractive field, I would be more general, say a local wholesaler supplying consumer goods, etc. You will then have the option to select the applicant routing. And if you want people to apply and have the applications, resumes, and profiles sent, to your email address on LinkedIn, you would select collect applications on LinkedIn and be notified by email. And you will have the option to change the email settings you have in the field provided. If you're working for a larger company and you have a website that has a login capability where people can enter employment information and post a resume, you would select direct candidates to an external site to apply and then you would enter the website page in the field provided. You then have the option to show your profile summary in the job listing. Now most postings are going to be through a company account on LinkedIn. It's not going to be an individual like Jonathan Schwartz. It'll be an IBM, a Procter & Gamble and such but you have the option to add the profile to the summary in the job listing. And once you add all the information required in the fields provided, you would simply select continue. You would then be asked to enter your password again to confirm that it is you and not somebody pretending to be you and posting an ad on LinkedIn. You will then be asked to enter your billing information, your address, your credit card information, and if you scroll to the right, you'll see what you'll be charged. And once you enter the credit card information, you would select review order. You will then be asked to confirm your order by selecting Place Order. And once you place the order, your ad will be posted on LinkedIn. You will then be asked if you want to share this job on the LinkedIn network, which is, of course, Facebook, Twitter, or forward to individuals.
and you can select the appropriate fields you want selected and check mark and then you would simply select share. Then you would receive the message you have successfully shared this job and that would be with all the people that are in your network. Then you have, to have an option to share this job with others and to view the job or to close this window. And you will receive this message. Your job has been posted and is available for public viewing. And you have the option to share a job. But this is how you post a job listing on LinkedIn.